well, yesterday I listened to a meeting on uh, a discourse in it on um, uh, correction and how good it was uh, to be corrected. Uh, and I wasn't at all happy with this, and I sort of sat through the talk, and uh, is it just I'm lacking in humility, I should be submissive, and no, it's the path to worshipping the guru, isn't it? Uh, no, 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 that's not my way, and I'm resisting like the plague, you see, and I'm feeling, oh, why did I come, and and really, what should I have been doing? Thanking God for being there. Because what happened next morning before six o'clock, I'd rolled off all sorts of recordings, sorting out that correction's not the way, it's love that's the way. And who can hear if they're happy with what they're doing? And those who do want to hear, well, they're looking, they're searching, and they... They look for the answers. They may even ask you, in which case you say, well, what I do is so and so. I'm more focused on loving than correcting people. I'm trusting that um, God will do the correcting. And, and he doesn't, does he? He doesn't um, boldly say to us, and so on. You can have a look at my recordings, can't you? They say it better than I can summarize it. And... Um, I think to myself, yes, again, you see, God's allowed you to come into a, a tricky time listening to a talk you rather not be listening to. But it's a great blessing because you react to it, and ideally, of course, you react to it in a godly way. And I don't mean swallowing it all hook, line, and sinker. I mean taking it to God and sorting out what's God's view on the topic. Yes. Your God's view, I mean, of course. Not their God's view, yours. And you say, ah, yes, well, and, uh, I'm clearer now on what I value and how I value and why I value it. And I'm lifted because, of course, I've spent time with God and he's come to the rescue on this stress. And, of course, on reflection, I thought, well, I'm there to bless, not to criticize them. Okay, of course they're um, not where I am, they're where they are, um, whatever that is, and their view. But I've just come to be a blessing. So, you know, we, we don't ideally do what I was doing, find I'm a bit aggravated by the situation. Um, Ideally, we just say, ah, oh, you've got me here, Lord. I'll bet you're going to use this for a blessing now. What is it? Well, what's my view on this topic? And of course, even in the meeting, I mean, I was very clear that those that wish to impress you of um, humility, their own humility, oh, is uh, very suspect, isn't it? I mean, really. Uh, it's failure from the very beginning, isn't it? Um, and of course, the audience fell into it. They were giving examples of how they'd been successfully corrected. <laughs> and one's inclined to think, oh yes, what a humble, lovely person. And then you think, no, 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 this is all nonsense. And of course, then I reflected, of course, we haven't mentioned God, have we? We haven't mentioned God. We've been worshipping uh, who the teacher's referring to, and uh, it was a person, of course. Um, uh, one who, incidentally, refused to own being a, an avatar or a, an enlightened teacher. Um, well, he, he probably he, he almost certainly thought he was enlightened. I mean, I do. <laughs> I'm not. There's nothing humble about it. I mean, you know, I, mean, <laughs> I believe at heart I've got it right. Otherwise, I'd change my beliefs. Aren't we all like this? 
Are, are we really convinced we are deliberately holding wrong beliefs? No. We're holding what we believe to be right. Good. Personify your values then. Worship them with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. Let your God lead you. Yes. And so I'm not humble. I'm not aiming to be humble. I'm not aiming to be submissive. I'm not even aiming to be submissive to God. I'm aiming to love him. Whatever that means. Not some worthless wreck, you know. Dreadful sinner and all that sort of stuff. It's absolute nonsense. Pantomime. Monty Python. You can only gain humility, I think, by ignoring it. Well, that doesn't do it either. By loving God, I think that will do it. Personally, I think loving God is the panacea of all things. And of course, how to love God? Well, whatsoever is good and lovely, think on these things. Your love will escalate. Thank you, Dad. I'm so pleased with some of my recordings. I, how's that for lack of humility? I just so, I think, did I write that? <laughs> did I say that? How did that come? And again, at the beginning of this um, recording, I thought, have I got enough to say to start a recording? And I thought, hang on, you're, you're teaching, Marshall. You're, you're, you are teaching whether you're supposed to be a teacher or not. I mean, don't call me teacher, though. Got it? And I thought, and, and you've just you've said in your previous recordings, you do what you can and God does the rest. Go on, do it. So I did it. And I've written this one. And when I listen to it the second time, or rather the first time listening to it, I just think, wow, did I put, yes, I put that in, didn't I? Oh, that was good. I'm so pleased. <laughs> and the typical little boy who's so pleased with himself. <laughs> I'm reminded of that, you know, you can tell a boy that's loved by his mum. He is just full of himself. Precocious, noisy, bossy, on top. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are we going to do with this little chap? <laughs> we love kids and it's our love that blesses them. We're all children of God. And when we are being aggravated by someone, we should remember, really we should remember, it's a kitty, and God loves him. So should I. <laughs> What are you going to do about me, Lord? Thank you, Dad. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you.